As the Pilbara coast recovers from severe tropical cyclone Veronica which flooded the region last week, another potential cyclone brewing in the top end is threatening to wreak further havoc. A tropical low formed about 500 km north-northeast of Darwin yesterday and is forecast to move into waters off Western Australia. Over the next few days we're expecting the system to move west-southwest and slowly develop, Bureau of Meteorology BOM, senior forecaster Matt Vaderhoven said. By Friday, there's a moderate chance of it developing into a tropical cyclone. External link, wind speed map showing tropical low off Australia's north coast then on Saturday, there's a high chance of it reaching tropical cyclone intensity while being over the waters north of the Kimberley coast, over the Browse Basin area. Cyclone will be called Wallace if the system does develop into a cyclone, it will be called Wallace. But the bomb has cautioned it was still too early to predict with certainty whether the potential cyclone would make landfall or exactly where it would track. Its latest modeling suggests a potential crossing could take place on the West Pilbara coast late on Tuesday or early on Wednesday. Cyclone Veronica stalled very close to the Pilbara coast for about 24 hours at Category 3 intensity, dumping hundreds of millimeters of rain in the Pilbara and producing destructive winds between Port Hedland and Carotha. Video, Flooding from Cyclone Veronica Strands Homes near South Headland on Islands, ABC News, Rivers, Streams and Waterways and the Degray Catchment reached the major flood level, leaving pastoralists fearing the damage built to land and lost cattle could run into the millions of dollars. Port Headland received more than a year's worth of rain in a matter of days, with many homes in the area evacuated after being cut off by floodwaters. Video, Residents Rescued After Being Cut Off By Floodwaters Following Cyclone Veronica, ABC News Pilbara could face significant flooding Mr. Botterhoven said the legacy of Cyclone Veronica could amplify the impact if a new cyclone did hit the coast. If this system does develop into a cyclone and does hit the Pilbara coast, the soil is very saturated now because of all the heavy rainfall from Cyclone Veronica, so the flooding will be quite significant, he said. It's early days yet, but, if it does form the environment is quite good, so there's probably a better than an even chance that it could be a severe tropical cyclone. On Thursday morning, the low is expected to cause squally thunderstorms in the Tiwi Islands, prompting the bomb to issue a warning for flash flooding and damaging winds. The system could get close enough to the Kimberley over the weekend to produce a period of gales and heavy rain over coastal parts of the far north and northwest of the region. Kimberley and Pilbara residents have been urged to keep up with the latest forecasts and warning information. It still is cyclone season so residents need to monitor all the forecasts, Mr. Botterhoven said. Video, 
Damaging winds from Cyclone Veronica leave mark in Caratha, ABC News, more stories from Western Australia.